if you had to choose between winning an Olympic medal or getting a world record, which one would it be? Welcome to Do or Die. In the first part of the Masters series, we'll be speaking to Alex Charles. Alex also runs for the same running club as I. You may also remember Alex from part two of the sub three hour marathon project where he paced me to a very painful three hours and eight minute finish. Come on, Phil. So in this interview, we'll be speaking about all things sub three hour marathon training. We'll also be looking at Nike running shoes, um, training volume and heart rate training, 2020 Virgin London Marathon. And this will be run virtually, which I will be running um, with Alex. I got into running, strangely enough, to supplement my uh, cycling training for the winter. Hadn't done much between September and December. And I went to a New Year's Day park run on January the 1st, 2016. Got bitten by the running bug and haven't looked back since. Currently for a marathon it's three hours, five minutes and six seconds. And this year I've um, attempted some shorter distances and have uh, got two minutes and 52 seconds for 1K and five minutes 11 for a mile. So what would you say with regards to um, your training or racing or anything else that you may have done to make you a bit more prepared? Yeah, what I've changed this time round from previous uh, sub three attempts is I've increased my mileage to around 65 miles a week up from 50. And I'm also actually running recovery and easy sessions uh, by heart rate and actually running them easily rather than putting any effort in. Alex and I run socially with runners from the same club. This was just after a half marathon run when the local race was cancelled due to COVID. Alex explains why he joined the club. Oh, and the wind ruined a perfect selfie. So how did you get into loss? Uh, I ran uh, Manchester Marathon in 2018 and um, there was a lot of Leon C. Strider runners at that one. Um, we got a four hour delay on our flight home and uh, they kind of talked me into joining their club. I already knew and run with a lot of their runners anyway, mm. so um, it made sense to join the club. I wanted to run with better runners in the hopes that it would improve my running and it, that has proven to be the case. Obviously COVID-19 has meant that, you know, the normal mass participation races that would happen would have to be done virtually now and I know with regards to you particularly, this affects you with regards to the Virgin London Marathon. So how has or will your approach kind of change with regards to your preparation for the race? I'm training just as though it was, you know, a normal race. Um, what I will do differently, I will run with music when I'm actually doing the virtual race. Uh, you know, I didn't think I'd like virtual races, but I've raced shorter ones, enjoyed them all, have been quite successful time-wise. and. When I reviewed sort of my running, you know, it's me against the clock. So whether that's in a big city marathon or, you know, locally as a solo time trial or running with a friend, you know, it's me against the clock trying to chase that time that I want to achieve. What would it mean to you to actually achieve this sub three goal? Yeah, it'd be a big achievement. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's the marathon benchmark for a club runner to break, um, to break three hours. And I'd just like to be, you know, part of that club. And, you know, as soon as I've broken three hours, I'll probably be looking at a new target. 
well, I'll be 54 next month and um, yeah I can get sort of top 10 in my age categories in races um, chunks of marathon last year I was second in my age category and third the year before so gonna have to go back one more time there to see if I can get first in my age category <laughs> So what do you run in? Do you only run in Nike? And if so, why? On the road, I only run in Nike. Um, about 18 months ago, I transitioned from uh, stability shoes to neutral shoes. And uh, Nike 4% Vaporflies was the first uh, ones I bought for um, London Marathon last year, actually. And loved the shoe and have just stuck with that brand. They seem to be ahead of the other brands with their development of running shoes and just been really pleased with them. Following on from what Alex is saying, these are my racing shoes. These are, well, these are now retired to tell the truth. These are the 4% and first edition Vaporfly. I've done at least, at least seven to 800 miles in these. I've rinsed them and I've got my money's worth out of them. But as you can see from the bottom of the shoe, one, two, three, four here. Yeah, just two. Completely gone. Completely shattered. But these shoes brought me so much joy. I've got all my PBs in these from 5K to a marathon. Yeah, the, the, these shoes are amazing. I just think I'd love that whole standing on, on the podium. To me, that's the pinnacle, to win the trophy. You know, the time, obviously a world record would be lovely, but I think yeah. to be the champion would be my, uh, you know, my primary objective. My favourite ever footballer, you know, from, that I've actually physically seen and from my generation is Glenn Hoddle. I love the sort of 80s uh, era of uh, Cohen Ovid and then Cram followed on. I just love the, you know, you know mm. one week one would win, the next week the other would win. It was an amazing thing to watch. Thank you very much for watching part one of the Master Series and a big thank you to Alex for taking part. We wish him the very best. We'll be catching up again with him in about two weeks or so. In fact, two weeks from today to see how we got on with his sub three attempt if you've not done so already please would you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment leave a suggestion leave a question and i do my very best to get back to you as soon as i can also do you have any goals of your own whether this be fitness or in other areas of your life and what are you doing to achieve these goals also what sort of suggestions could you give to those who are trying to achieve their own goals i would love to hear from you again thank you for watching do or die, the Master Series, and please be safe. Thank you.